Hi, I'm Donna with Donna's Things. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for taking your time coming to see what's going on on this side of the camera. I really do appreciate it. Of course, if you are returning, no matter how many times it has been, you know my heart. I so appreciate you also. So this is my video that I post on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, I try to post a video of a new make that I have one, two, three, four pieces. And today I wanna talk about my supposedly eight piece spring collection. Now, it's not eight pieces and I don't know how much spring it actually is. I had some fabric, let me show you real quick. I actually had a pair of pants out of this green, uh, like a caramel and black and white stripe. I'll show you the pants in a moment. So when I was thinking about the spring collection, I thought, you know what? I made those pants a while back. I've never worn them. Let me pull out some colors. So if, in a previous video of mine, I showed the caramel um, Shantung fabric. I showed a green um, stretch poplin fabric. Um, what else did I have? And, and a white, I believe. So those that was going to be the color combination for my spring collection. The caramel is not a favorite color of mine. And so when I went to put the pieces together, it just didn't settle with me. I was trying to make something work that really was not going to work. Not only that, when I bought the green, the solid green, I knew it wasn't the best green for the green that's in this stripe here but i felt like well i've seen this plenty of times people don't get exact matches and stuff it should look nice but i'm gonna tell you the more i looked at it before i cut my green fabric out it just it was not the same green and i could not mentally make it happen so my eight piece is more like a four piece. <laughs> I just couldn't get it together. So let me get started. Um, I, you saw a previous video of mine showed the dress. Well, I'm sorry. Let me see. Um, my basic pattern was a lifestyle wardrobe pattern, pattern, pattern by Butterick. It was Butterick 6670. And it had the dress, which this is the dress, the skirt, the top, the pants. The line drawings look like this. And I chose this one because it would be a little different from what I normally do. So I made up the dress. I showed this on a previous video, but it actually came out really 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 nice it looks very good and i'll post another picture i do have pictures of me wearing it i'll post another picture now the idea was this dress but also to make the pants in a capri use that same pattern make some pants out of this same shantung that would have given me two pieces, one set. But I could not just wrap it in my head if I wanted to make the caramel pants because I'm thinking the only time I'm ever going to wear it is when I wear this. I don't know. I just couldn't get it in my head. So I moved on past that 
And I said, well, I'll make a pair of black pants from that same pattern, Butterick 670. And I did. It's just a, um, it's a stretch gabardine. It's nothing to them, you know, just a pair of black pants. It, I don't think it came with pockets. Yeah, it didn't come with pockets. I didn't put pockets in them. I made them exactly like the pattern. Hers comes down a little bit above her ankle. Mine is above my ankle. I have the back um, invisible zipper and they didn't do a full um, waistband. They just had the gross grain ribbon, which is what I did. They had the gross grain ribbon and you just turned it to the inside. So I don't know how much of that you can actually see, but that's what that looks like. So the pants fit really nice. And of course they can be worn underneath this dress. And I'll, you know, I'll post pictures, but it actually, it actually looks like a nice outfit. That's backwards. Wait a minute. Yeah, it goes this way. So when you wear the two, it actually looks pretty good. So I said, okay, that, um, that outfit works. What else can I do? Because I had already made a decision. I'm not going to make the top and I'm not going to make the skirt. So then, but I had striped fabric, remember, because the pants I already have, but I had bought more of the striped fabric. So what I did with that, now, I'm not complaining about the set. The set is really nice, but it's not my AP spring garment. So this is um, one of the 99 cent new looks that I just bought. It's new look 6378. And it has all of these, I was calling it a duster. This is what the line drawing looks like on it. And I did a uh, view A, the long blue one there. That's the one I did. The pattern called, they call it a kimono, so I'm just going to call it a kimono too. However, this is my striped fabric. This is my kimono. Now, it has pockets. The pattern didn't have pockets, but I put pockets in it. Let me show it to you. This is a ready-to-wear white shirt. I bought the, well, I had been bought this shirt from TJ Maxx. It is one um, that I will wear, but this is what it looks like. So it's really nothing to it. You know, you can see it back here like that a little bit better. And let me see if I can give you an idea. There is really nothing to this. It is, um, the arm is finished off with bias tape and the front facing part is finished off with bias tape. One thing I did do, so actually you see the curve? It looks much nicer on than it does off. I'm sorry, you may hear, hear Hallie, my bird. She's in there. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> wanting to wanting to come out, I guess. But this is what this is what it looks like. It's really nice. I do I do like it. I'm glad I changed my mind and moved away from that pattern because it's just something about it that didn't excite me. This looks really good. So you have that. Let me show you something about this bias tape. The arm, like I said, the armhole has the bias tape and so does the front facing. But rather than just a small bias tape, I bought hem facing, um, the bias hem facing. It's wider than this, but by the time I, I sewed it on here and then folded it over and it did the curve and everything really, really, really nice. 
and it goes all the way around of course to the other side so it's nice and clean inside nice and clean this is serge the side seams um are serge and then like i told you i added my own pocket so it looks like this now it's looking like the pattern you know where it's just flowing so i imagine a chalet or something like that would be really nice for this but i do like it it of course can have the black pants up underneath it but when i do wear it i will be doing this to it this kind to me this adds a little a little flavor to it let me see of course i would have to get it right but this adds a little flavor to it um you know if i wear it and do it like this so i like that and of course I would be able to wear the black pants up underneath it. I know this is terrible. <laughs> the pants wouldn't be like that, but I'd wear the black pants underneath it, put on that white t-shirt and I would be good to go. So it's it's nice, it's looking, it's looking really nice. All the fabrics are beautiful. It's just that with this fabric, this stripe right here, I could not get the color combination to do what I wanted it to do. So I ended up going in this direction. If I'm just hanging out, throw this on one day and I'm walking along, of course I would just wear it just like this. It needs a good press, but I would wear it just like this with the pocket. So that's another piece. That's the third piece of this outfit. And then I don't know if I would wear the striped pants with the striped vest or not. I'm gonna post a picture of it so you can see what that would look like, but that might be a little bit too much. But I used I haven't posted pictures of my makes on Instagram in a very long time. But if you have Instagram and you go on my um, Instagram, Donna Stings, you will see um, so many makes. Because when I first got started, I was posting on Instagram. And then when I started the YouTube channel, I didn't really mess with Instagram anymore. But for these pants, now, I bought this pattern, so you figure, almost two years ago. I've made the shirt, but this is New Look 6582. This is the line drawing. But I did just what the model did. See the pants and that split. Yeah. And the pants are simply adorable. They just have elastic in the waist. It did have a waistband. Um, I mean, well, yeah, the band that the additional band that you sew on. And here's what they look like. They have that bell bottom, and there's the split at the bottom. Now, they actually came out really really nice they look good and they can be worn with this i don't know why i'm fumbling with these clothes today but can you see you can get an idea that i can wear these pants with the caramel top so technically i do have a spring set <laughs> but it's not eight pieces, it's four pieces. The kimono, the dress or jacket, the black pants and the striped pants. When I do um, sets like that, ensembles like that, I always do 
a fun piece. And that's my avocado skirt that I have on today. This is Simplicity 1369. It's just the plain one. Uh, F, E, V, E. This one here is just the plain one. Gathered all around the waist and then it has this curved waistband. So for my fun piece, I chose to do this. I chose the um, avocado because it has the color scheme. It's got the caramel, it's got the green, it's got the white, and then of course it has some yellow in it for the avocado and the onion on it is like a pinkish purple color. But yes, it, it blends in with everything. What I like about this skirt, of course, I always like these bands, the one, the waistband itself that curves like that. It zips up the back. I did a lap zipper, not an invisible zipper. It zips up the back, but it has pockets. And what I like are, is the pockets, they're not side pockets. They're the ones that are made in the front. So you have a small front piece, but then your side front and your back kind of all running together. So you have a back seam, no seam here, no seam here, but there is a seam here. And that's where your pockets come from. And when I put the dress on, the skirt on this morning, I was like, I know this thing has pockets. And then I remembered, oh yeah, they are, they're in the side. So it has pockets. I just have it on with a simple white, um, t-shirt and my sneakers because like I said this is my fun piece and so I would be able to take this on a weekend with me because I just need a white t-shirt a black t-shirt even if I find this yellowy green color t-shirt this is still an outfit I'd be able to take with me so it's a four piece plus that and the other bonus piece that I had bought was this panel here. This is like a knit nylon. It was an entire panel. Let's come over here. You can see the panel. And what I did, I have a seam going down here. So that's kind of shaping my girl. She's smaller than I am. So this there's a seam going down right here that connects the back and the front. And of course, the seam is over here also. Then what I did was um, I roll him the entire piece. So the whole edge of it got the roll him, the entire edge got the roll him. And then for the neckline, I folded it evenly in half, the fat, the panel, and I used a facing, a neck facing front and back and cut my hole, cut my hole. It was a little bit wider than what I wanted it to be. So I just put some elastic in it and this is what it looks like. Really, 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 really pretty. And let me show you. So this is a second bonus piece that I did. And and you know for sure, see how, see how it's cut? So you got your front and a little bit of this blue in the middle. And here's my back. I got the blue, it's a little bit more than the front and the back. But this, of course, definitely goes with my, um, my black capri pants. So technically, I have four plus two. <laughs> I know this is terrible, but see how it is? It's really nice. So there you are, and the seam is here. So that gives me the fit, but it gives the look of this. So you can see this, see the neckline here. This is from the elastic being there. It's just really very, very pretty. And then of course, with the black pants up underneath it, 
it looks super good. Well, you see a picture of it. I'll show you. I'll be taking pictures of it. But that is really a beautiful piece. And like I said, with the roll hem going all the way around. Now, I know you could see, you know, a lot of times we don't like to do this because the underneath is not as pretty as the front. But I really enjoy the whole piece. So I have a four piece garment and I'm sorry, this was not a pattern. Of course, I just did the panel just the way I was telling you the roll hem, the seam and whatever neckline you want. If you don't want a round neckline, you could use one of the pattern uh, directions in here. You could have cut a V neckline or you could have cut a small neckline roundness and let it bend up here. I like the way I did this. It did come a little bit closer to the edge of my shoulder. I didn't like that. So I put um, quarter inch elastic in it. So this is not my <laughs> AP spring ensemble. This is my four pleat four piece plus two um spring wear <laughs> i really like all of it i'm glad i quit trying to make the other thing work because it just wasn't working in my head you know how you have to see it and the colors have to be right they have to be colors that you like because i could take this somewhere with me i have the black capri pants. I could have a white pair of capri pants to wear with it. I could wear a black skirt with the, this top along with the black pants. I could do, well, I couldn't really, if I wanted to push it, I could do a white skirt. So there are several things that I can do with this. I don't mind at all that I finished it. Yes, I will wear it, but it is not my eight piece ensemble for the spring but it is not a fail so i'm pretty much pleased with it i um like all the patterns that i use i actually love this skirt i've had this pattern the skirt pattern simplicity 1369 forever but this is the first time i ever used it this is new look one i just picked up the other day the lifestyle one, I picked that up, my last Butterick haul. So I am redeeming myself. I have since um, chosen another fabric because I will do an eight piece ensemble. So I have since chosen another fabric and I'll give you a hint. It kind of looks like this. That looks more like what I'll be able to pull. I already have the fabrics. I already have the patterns. I've already started. So that will definitely be the AP Spring Ensemble. So thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button, share my channel. Uh, subscription, yes, I would love if you subscribe, but you know how I feel about that. If you just like to scroll through every now and then and see what Donna's Things is doing, I do appreciate that also. However, I do ask that you would ring that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you again. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the short little video clip of the pics and be blessed. Bye.